Hi everyone. My name is Maya, and I'm studying English literature. Today, I want to share my story about learning English in London. It all started on a train ride. Everyone around me was chatting in English, but I could barely understand anything. Determined to learn, I gathered my courage and talked to two ladies from England. My English wasn't very good, but they were kind and even gave me their contact information. This gave me a real boost. I started translating texts and watching movies in English every day. After six months, my English had gotten better, but I wanted to understand it even more. So, I packed my bags and headed to London to completely surround myself with English. My first day at school was fantastic. My teacher, unlike others who relied heavily on books, wanted us to actually talk to each other. We discussed how language is a tool we use to share our ideas and connect with people. Our lessons focused on speaking English every day and using it in real situations, not just memorizing things from textbooks. We learned through conversation, unlike some students who focused on learning lots of words and grammar rules, but never actually spoke English. This method made a lot of sense to me, because textbooks often confused me. Our teacher explained that the best way to learn is to practice all the time, not just memorize stuff. The next day, a classmate from South Korea asked about the best way to learn new words. Our teacher, emphasizing the importance of reading, suggested reading something interesting in English for at least 30 minutes every day. She gave us some helpful tips to get the most out of reading. Pick interesting stuff. Choose books or articles that you actually enjoy, whether they're stories or factual information. Don't pick boring stuff that will make you lose interest quickly. Use a dictionary. Whenever you come across a word you don't know, look it up in a dictionary to understand it better. This will help you remember the word without having to force yourself to memorize it. Learn words in context. Reading allows you to see how words are connected and used in sentences. This natural way of learning is much more effective than doing isolated vocabulary exercises. Later. The discussion turned to finding a part-time job. I learned about a job center that helps students like me find work. Thankfully, my English was good enough to get a job as a waitress in a cafe. The job offered flexible hours and a great opportunity to practice speaking English. One student in our class from South Korea, was worried about his pronunciation. He understood English well but hesitated to speak because he was anxious about not pronouncing things correctly. He said he practiced by reading and watching English movies, but he wanted a specific technique to improve his speaking. Our teacher introduced him to a cool technique called shadowing, which is a great way to improve pronunciation. Shadowing, this technique involves copying native speakers. Just like children learn their first language by imitating their parents, 
Shadowing allows you to copy the sounds and rhythms of fluent English. Choose recordings that are clear, a little slow, and easy to understand. Listen and repeat what you hear exactly. This method can also be used for presentations. By shadowing a recording of your presentation beforehand, you can significantly improve your pronunciation and delivery. This technique was completely new to me, and I was really excited to try it. Another day, we welcomed a new student named Isabella from Italy. Everyone was impressed by her fluency and beautiful pronunciation. When asked about her learning methods, Isabella revealed three key techniques, reading, shadowing, and thinking out loud. Thinking out loud, a technique I hadn't heard of before, really caught my attention. Our teacher explained, Thinking out loud, this technique involves actively saying your thoughts in English as they come to you. Start with simple sentences and gradually make them more complex as you get more comfortable. Although it might feel strange at first, doing this regularly can significantly improve your fluency. Isabella shared her experience. Thinking out loud wasn't easy at first. I started with basic sentences like I can speak English. This is good. But the biggest challenge was turning my complicated Italian thoughts into simple English. After a while, though, thinking in English became natural. This newfound fluency allowed me to have a conversation with a tourist from Australia, even though I was a beginner at the time. Inspired by Isabella's story, I was determined to try thinking out loud too. Here are the key things I learned from my experience in London. Read something interesting in English for at least 30 minutes every day. Use a dictionary to understand new words you encounter while reading. Shadow native speakers to improve your pronunciation. Think out loud to boost your speaking fluency. Practice each technique, reading, listening, 